Okay, so we we'll start by rolling your foot. Place your foot on top of a roller and roll slowly down the whole length of your foot. Applying as much pressure as you can. Good. Do nice and slow and move to the outside of the foot. Good. Just keep rolling and then just twist a little bit and move to the inside of your foot. This could be a little bit more painful. But just keep rolling it. Maybe you change legs in a couple of seconds. If you need to, you can always add a little bit more a bit more weight as you feel more comfortable with the exercise. Good. Nice doing a good job. Just keep doing all the way down the foot. Now let's change feet. Again, place it under your foot and just gently roll back and forth down the whole of your foot. If you can, go as slow as possible. Bring as much weight into the roller as you can. And again, move to the outside of your foot. Good. Really get that outside part of your foot. Nice. And then from here, you're going to twist your body a little bit in a second and move to the inside part of the foot. For most of you, this is going to be really painful. Good. But all we're doing is just try to get that plantar fascia to relax under your foot. Again, place your weight as much as you can down onto the roller. Good. All right. From here, we're going to move to the front of our lower part of the legs. Place our knees on the roller, hands on the floor, and just roll back and forth. Basically, pulling the knees up into the chest, and then sliding the feet back. Good. Some of you may find this a little bit painful, so do a couple of rolls, and then just take your time, have a little rest, and then go again. Good. Sitting back against your heels will just make it a little bit more painful. Some of you might not be feeling this, so change to this position. Good. Just try and get from basically from the knee all the way down to the feet. Just basically rolling back and forth. Good. Really nice. Keep that going. Perfect. Really good. Slowly push back. Try and get rid of any of those little nobles, little aches, little pains from your from your shins. Good. From here, we're going to move to a calf, placing one leg on top of the roller, other leg on the floor, lifting the hips up, and slowly rolling back and forth down the roller. Try to put as much weight as you can into that roller as you go down the whole length of the leg. Placing the other leg on top if you have to. Some of you might find this a little bit too much. But that's fine, so just keep your foot on the floor. If you can, just roll back and forth. Good. Taking your time. Very nice. Now you just go sit on the floor and just lift the toe towards you and point your foot. If you can, lift off the floor. And now just go a little bit of a circle. Good. Nice big circle. Nice. And then circle the other way. Perfect. Try and make it a nice, slow, big circle. As much as you can. There you go. Nice change legs. Again, one foot on the floor if you have to. If you're not feeling this too much, then just place your other leg on top of your other leg to make it a little bit more heavy. Good. 
Just roll back and forth. Slow, but you can do it the better. Try to feel every little part of that, of that calf. Good. Also, I'm going to try and keep the chest up as you do this. And I'm pointing my foot. If you need to, lift off the floor to add a little bit more weight. Good. Really flex the foot, really point the foot. And do a nice big circle. Doesn't matter which way, just circle. And then we're going to go the other way in a second. Good. Just showing you from the front. So you're just taking a big circle as much as you can. This may be really painful for some of you. Just bear with it, just breathe through it. Okay, now let's move to the side of the leg. Place the roller against the hip. One elbow on the floor, the other hand supporting you. The top leg on the floor. And just roll up and down. The whole length of that upper thigh. Good. Try and make sure that you're completely side on. You're not turning your hip too much towards the back or towards the front. If you've never done this before, it's going to be really, really painful. So, if you can't go down the whole length of the leg, just try to find a section that's a little bit sore and just try and keep your weight there. Try and stay there. Good. Nice. Just keep moving back and forth. If you want to make this a little bit harder, all you can do is just take that top leg and place it on top of the other leg. I'll show you that on the second side. So, place on the hip, elbow on the floor, support your body, just roll back and forth against that lower leg. Try and go from the hip bone, upper hip bone, all the way down to the knee as much as you can. As I say, if you need to add more weight, place the leg on top so you take more of your weight against that roller. Perfect. As I say, it is painful. Just bear with it, it will get better the more you do it. Good. Stay with it. Just keep rolling. As you see, if you need to adjust, just roll if you need to. Good. Just make sure you inhale and exhale. Nice big inhales and exhales. Alright. Let's now move to the back. So, we're going to do the back. So, basically, you just place a roller anywhere in the mid back. Lift the hips off the floor and roll from your shoulder blades down to your bottom. So all the way down to your bum. Good. That's that lower part of the back towards the bum which could be most painful. Good. Just keep rolling. Now you will be moving back slightly so just just the feet as you need to. Good. If you need to stop and haven't got enough room just kind of lift up over roll back forward a little bit. Adjust your position and get right back onto the exercise again. Good. And just be nice and slow. Control it. Take your time. And try and relax as much as you can. Good. Right from here. Place some roll just under the shoulder blades. Hands cupped behind the back of your neck. Elbows pulling forward. Now from here, try and keep the bum on the floor. Lean back and try and touch your head against the floor behind you. Good. Taking the elbows with you. When you're there, just take a nice deep breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Just a couple of good deep breaths. Stay there. Try and relax as much as possible. Good. Now come back up. Catch your breath. Breathe in. Breathe out and lean back. Good. Again, just breathe deeply. Try and fill the rib cage, the belly, the belly all fill up with. That inhale and exhale. Good. Just stay there. Nice. Come back up. Again, big breath in. Breathe out. Good, and stay, relax.
I know it's not relaxing, but just try and relax as much as you can. Try and keep your abs tight as you do this as well. Good. Almost there. Come back up. Good. Relax, just bring the roller back down to under your shoulder blades. Hands straight, and just gonna lift your arms overhead. Try and touch the fingers against the floor. Good, and come all the way back. Again, keep the hips on the floor. Extend back, try and get as much range of movement as possible. If you can touch the floor, great. Perfect, that's what we want. Good. Make sure your arms are completely straight. Do not let your elbows bend. Keep your elbows as straight as you can. Good. Keep going. Nearly there. Keep it coming. Lovely. Nice. Really good. Just relax. Good. We'll just try to get as much range of movement. Now from here, just bring one leg across the other leg. Again, keep hips on the floor. And do the exact same movement. Just try to lift. What this will do is just kind of hold your hips in and make you just stretch one side more than the other. Good. Again, try and keep your abs tight, hold that position. Hold. Breathe. Good. Good, nice. Almost there. Really just feeling rib cage move as you Inhale and exhale. Good, come back and swap legs. Good, same thing. Extend. Extend over the leg. Back and forth. Just really squeeze. Try and get them hands to the floor. Try and keep your abs tight. Try and keep the hips on the floor as much as you can. Every time you do this, try and really breathe out. Try and get that stretch become bigger and bigger. Good. Make sure the thumbs against the floor. Good. Now you just stay here now. Again. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel that ribcage move. Make sure the thumbs are facing towards the ground. Try and get the head neutral. Could feel this in the neck. If you do, that's just normal. Good. All right. So just move the roll to the side. And now you're just gonna lie flat on the floor. Good. And you're just gonna do the same thing with your arms. Come down, touch the floor, and coming back. As you do this, make sure you keep nice tight abs. Lower back on the floor. Do not let that lower back arch. Just nice and relaxed with your arms. Keep your arms nice and straight. Again, just inhale, exhale. Feel the belly, feel the rib cage move. Really good, just stay there, relax. Really good, now clasp your fingers, rotate, and bring it over, to, over your head. Again, your aim is to hit the floor, keeping the back tight against the floor, not laying that back arch. Make can just let everything stretch out. If you can hit the floor, great. Just stay there. Inhale and exhale. Good. Now change your fingers. Same thing up overhead. Keep the lower back against the floor. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Really nice. Good, just breathe. Good. Just relax with as much as you can. You guys are doing a great job. Really good. Alright, just standing up. Or sitting up, should I say. We're going to go to the lats side of the body. So, placing a roller just around the back of the armpit. Support your head with your hand. And you just go roll that roller up and down the side of your body. Try and go all the way to the armpit. 
you know, with them ribs. Good. If it's just too painful, just find a little spot that's tender and just stay there. And just kind of rock back and forth from that spot. Good. As you try and open up that side of the body. Again, inhaling, exhaling. Good. If you need to adjust, adjust. And keep repeating the same movement up and down the body. Good. We'll try to open up that lat, that big muscle the side of the body, that big wing muscle. Let's say if your neck gets sore, just support your hand, support your head with your hand. Good. All right. Let's change sides. Again, just place your roll arms and feet on bit. Get comfy. Just kind of just slide yourself up and down. There's no correct way to do this. Just kind of push back and forth, up and down. Just move how you can. And if you can, try and keep that for your arm that you're basically rolling on, or the ribs you're rolling on that side. Try and keep that hand off the floor. Try not use it too much. Go on, try and keep that side as relaxed as possible. Good. Good, just keep rocking back and forth. Again, sore spot. Find it, rock on it. Try and relax into it as much as your weight as possible. And you can see I'm changing my body position a little bit here and there. Just try to find those little niggly little tender spots. Good. Keep going. Good, I like from the put a roll to the side and you're gonna lie down on your back. Now we're gonna go to gonna move into a nice relaxed state. Just breathing. Good, just really think about breathing here. I'm doing some rapid breathing, but just relax. It's okay. Just feel that body relax. Good. Nice. Good job. 